Hi, I'm Engineer Bill. Today's a special day for me because I'm going to show you the shed. Now, I've done my shed two years ago and I put it on YouTube. It was a, a moderate hit. But now it's time, as I pointed out two years ago, to put a new roofing system on there. So we can go and take a look at the shed and you can see what it looks like now. And actually it's been two years and maybe three or four months. To me, it looks exactly the same as it did when I first built it. It's holding up great during the hurricane season. It's holding up with the big winds and storms and it's not a problem. Come on inside. We'll see what it looks like on the inside. So this is it. Now behind the camera, there's maybe twice as much size of this. It's a big shed, but as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff in here. Now everything in here still looks like new. It works great. Boards are fine. This ceiling membrane is fine, but the roofing membrane is what I need to replace now. If you recall, I have a tarp over there, and I suspected the tarp would last maybe two years. Even here, I have a lot of this uh, heavier duty uh, tarp that I'll use. I've used these before. They generally, at least here in Florida, can run between two and three years. And it's now starting to get some brittleness in some areas. So now it's time to go to another material. And I do have something unique and special for this application. So come on outside and we'll get started doing that. Yep, I'm going to be doing some hard work now. I may not be able to get back up on top to do all that sweeping. Let's see, I got everything. Yep, here we go. Yeah, manly stuff. I got to do some manly stuff. Yep, there's a lot to do back here. I'll be back here for a while. And she'll never know. That's the beauty part. This is a little tough to do with one hand. You know, I'm not going to do this anymore. You got anything else I can use? What's this? Man, even the dogs don't like this. You're kidding me. All right, I'm all done. Oh, 
man. Well, I'm a pretty strong guy, but that in its solid form has a lot of weight. So this is the material I was telling you about that I wanted to use on my shed. This is a rubber membrane. Best way for me to explain it is just to let you watch what I'm gonna do. All right, well, I'm taking a little rest. These are almost exclusively used for motor homes, the roof, and it's good for 20 years. Very flexible. I have to glue the seams together to make it to the size of the shed top. We'll see how it works. All right, so why do I have the boards down here? Well, the only place that I have flat and big enough to put my seam on is on the ground right here. This thing is so much heavier than I thought it was, and I am out of breath just moving it out, getting it in position. So my first cut, well this shed width is 20 feet, so I'll go 20 feet and a little more. That's eight foot wide, so I know I have to at least make one seam. Hopefully I won't have to make two seams at least in the bigger section and where it sticks out, there's a little dog leg in the shed and I'll cut to do that. What I need is a, like a three inch seam, three to four inch seam, and that's the overlap. And then I'll put this double sided special seam tape on. Before I can do that, I have to use this cleaner and uh, activator on both sides, and I'll just brush it on. Once I brush it on and it dries a little bit, then I'll put this seam tape on, and then I'll carefully overlap the joints and Supposedly that's it, so hopefully that will do the job. more water damage than I thought. Yeah, all this stuff seems Yeah, I have to replace a lot of this. A few pieces back here seem okay. I waited too long. Yep. Well, I have 
three of these uh, top pieces. They're only about $10 a piece. Uh, they held up really well. Uh, the tarp apparently was leaking and it was leaking a lot worse than I thought. I knew it, some of the edges it was leaking. It didn't do any damage to the structure, not much. Uh, but I thought I'd have to replace three of them because I had to delay putting the roof on. I think when I started this project, or started the new roof, some of my earlier videos, six months had gone by when I thought it was time to replace it. Because my schedule, I just couldn't get doing it. And when I did have a scheduled day or two off, uh, we had rains every day. We got it secured super fast. I am exhausted beyond belief. The rains have just started. Uh, nothing's, it's just laying here. And I got a couple bricks around the edges to keep it from flopping up. Wow, I can't believe it's been almost three years since I started the shed. Some of you might be wondering what did it cost to actually put that membrane on. It's a 20 year membrane and it did cost about 800, maybe $900 for everything included. That's $40 a year, I think I can handle that. I've looked at my old video just to remember what I did and I see how the quality of the video wasn't very good. So hopefully things have improved since then. If you have an opinion on that, uh, let me know. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.